Hey guys, Ben here from Overland Trail Guides. I'm super stoked to talk to you about the Lost Coast 4x4 Trail today. But before we get into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as far as the route guide goes, GPX, Google Maps, and all that stuff, you can get all of that at www.overlandtrailguides.com. The other thing that I wanted to share with you, we actually have adventure badges now, and the Lost Coast 4x4 Trail is actually our first route with one of those badges. Again, you can get that at the website, overlandtrailguides.com. So why don't we get into the details about this particular route? So let's talk about time spent on the trail. You're gonna to wanna to set aside about two to four days of driving. I would say the optimal amount of time for this is probably about three days. I've done it in two, it's definitely stretching it. If you do three or four, you're definitely giving yourself the time to go explore a lot of things uh, in the Lost Coast. Now, let's talk about season as well. The season can run anywhere from April until November, but there are some gates north of Usall Beach and at Four Corners, and the county of Mendocino typically keeps those closed during the wet season. So in some years, they may not be open until late May, and they may close them as early as October. So you wanna be sure to check on that as well. And of course, we gotta talk about vehicles, technical rating, and all that stuff. So the technical rating on this trail, I would call it almost all green. There are years where there can be some erosion on the way into Usall or north of Usall Beach on Usall Road, and you might get some mild blue sections. Because of that, I would say a stock 4x4, you're gonna be money on this trail. If you have an all-wheel drive vehicle like a RAV4 or a Subaru with all-terrain tires, you'll probably be okay. It may be a bit bumpy if you got a small lift like a one to one and a half inch lift, even better. Sprinters, you got a Sprinter 4x4 with a high roof. You'll see we have somebody on this particular trip. Not a problem, you may encounter a couple of low branches, but other than that, you're good to go. So let's go take a look at the uh, route on a map and see what we're getting into this adventure. It should be fun. And remember, you can get everything you need at www.overlandtrailguides.com. begin our adventure at the southern terminus of Usall Road where it meets Highway 1. From there, we'll travel north to Usall Beach and make camp. On day two, we'll visit Needle Rock Visitor Center in Sinkion State Park and then Shelter Cove. On day three, we'll continue north to the Matole River Valley and we'll explore the abandoned Punta Gorda Lighthouse. We conclude our adventure on day four with a short hike through the mesmerizing Rockefeller Forest in Humboldt Redwoods State Park. So this first section out to Usall Beach, it's about six miles. We're hitting it right after it's uh, been graded, so it's actually in really good condition. And uh, that's kind of where the majority of people stop, because Usall is not that difficult to go out to. But
Morning from Usall Beach. So last night it was pretty darn windy um, and we have a bigger group so we needed to find a place that was sheltered from the wind uh, and a size suitable for our group. We ended up camping back up against the mountain kind of. Got this great little spot. The wind actually ended up dying down completely and it was a really beautiful calm night. And uh, this was our camp. So let's talk about the itinerary for today. We are at Usall Beach today. We're going to be working our way north up towards Matoll River as our ultimate goal. And today we're going to be camping out somewhere by Shelter Cove. We'll probably go to the Needle Rock Visitor Center, check that out, maybe have some lunch there, go down to the lighthouse at Shelter Cove, and then we got to figure out what is up with camping. Uh, we're going to try to go to Tolkien Campground in uh, the BLM, which is a BLM campground. If there's not enough room for our rigs, we're going to have to go to one of the other BLM campgrounds, backtrack, uh, perhaps Natalos or Wallachie. So we'll see, but it should be fun. Let's go check it out. From Usall Beach, we'll continue north for about 20 miles on Usall Road to Four Corners. This section of Usall Road snakes through the mixed conifer, oak, and chaparral forest, and it's a bit bumpier and windier than the drive into Usall Beach. We'll reach Four Corners, which used to be a small logging community complete with a saloon back in the day. And from there, we'll head down the steep three and a half mile gravel road to an old pioneer cabin and homestead that has been transformed into, into the Needle Rock Visitor Center which has great views of the Pacific and is often visited by one of the local Roosevelt elk herds. So we made it to Needle Rock Visitor Center. Another beautiful day. Wind is not too bad. And unfortunately, this is closed to vehicles. Uh, I guess there's a washout, but uh, check out these guys. Everything was built there, all the sites and the roads, everything was built by the So we're on the inside of the Needle Rock Visitor Center. Beautiful little spot here. The Roosevelt elk. Look at this fireplace. Got some elk antlers. Got this. And uh, 
Hey, let's do this. If you visit the Lost Coast, I highly recommend making a trip to the Needle Rock Visitor Center. There's actually a small barn for camping that you can rent on a first-come, first-served basis at the Visitor Center. From Needle Rock, we'll make our way north on a series of paved back roads to the tide pools at Shelter Cove. So we just had a nice little lunch at the Needle Rock Visitor Center. Great weather, great views. I saw some elk down there as well. And now we're gonna head over to Shelter Cove, down to the lighthouse, uh, get out again, explore, and then we'll be heading over to camp. Cape Mendocino Lighthouse at Shelter Cove was originally stationed to the north. It was disassembled and transported via helicopter to its new home in Shelter Cove. So if you walk over past the lighthouse in the field, there's these stairs that go down to these really cool tide pools. Uh, of course, if the tide is out, but uh, we actually have some sea lions over here. Alright guys, we are here at Tolkien Campground after uh, departing from Shelter Cove. Uh, we got lucky, definitely enough sites for the group here. We are setting up over here. Uh, we ran into some of our friends, so it should be a good little night. It's a little bit breezy and a little bit chilly. Hopefully that will taper off like it did last night. Uh, we'll see. Good morning from Tolkien Campground. Can't remember if we told you guys yesterday that this is where we were gonna stay. We had a couple of different options, but there ended up being enough room. Uh, was in the trees, great little place. I uh, got hit with a little bit of wind last night, but it wasn't too bad. And so the plan for today is we're gonna work our way north, just like we did yesterday, towards the Matole River. And I think we're gonna stay at AWA County Park, do some exploring up on the ridge, maybe go to one of the abandoned lighthouses. It kind of depends on how things play out with time, but it should be fun. So let's go check it out.
All right, guys, we're going up Saddle Mountain Road right now. It's a little steep, a little loose, a little bit of fun. About to hit some really amazing views here in a second. Uh, can't wait for it. We'll show, show you what it looks like, but uh, this is one of my favorite sections of the Lost Coast for my trail. So hope you enjoy it. favorite parts of the Lost Coast 4x4 trail. Uh, a lot of people stop at USAL, but if you do, you're gonna miss out all of this. We're not in Big Sur, we're in Humboldt County. You having fun? Very substantial. Very substantial bridge. <laughs> so we're at AWA County Park. Glad we got here a little bit early. It's definitely busier than I've been accustomed to, but we got some great spots with the Matoll River in the background. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab lunch, uh, make sure that we got our sites reserved, head back over to Matoll Beach and Matoll River, get some more video footage, go to the beach, and then uh, we'll come back here and uh, spend the evening here. guys hope you've been enjoying those views of the Matoll River and the Matoll Beach absolutely stunning breathtaking awe-inspiring whatever you want to say and uh, we're headed south on the dirt road to where it ends we're gonna hike about half a mile to the abandoned Punta Gorda lighthouse uh, it should be fun so let's go check it out died down a little bit but it is hike down to the lighthouse about a mile
gonna check out one of the landmarks out here between uh, Honeydew and Matoll Beach. It is the famous blue Ford truck that's uh, hanging from a tree. So, there she is. The next morning we broke camp and said our goodbyes to friends old and new. We headed towards Avenue of Giants in Humboldt Redwood State Park where the route concludes. But first we'll make a quick stop in the spectacular Rockefeller Forest and Bull Creek Flat. All right, so we broke camp uh, on our way home. We decided to make a quick stop at Humboldt Redwood State Park. We're in the Rockefeller Forest. Uh, and this whole Bull Creek flat area has some of the tallest redwood trees on earth. This is actually the, the biggest forest with the most tall trees. There are a number over 350 feet tall. And uh, we're gonna go check some of them out. So, so we just arrived at the, uh, the giant tree, aptly so, 363 feet tall, 53 feet in circumference, and uh, she is absolutely massive. This is a three minute walk from where we parked. So you come back here and you get away from the, from the parking lot and you get really far out here and it gets really quiet, peaceful, great way to leave the hustle and bustle of the city, your day job, you know, a lot of us lead chaotic lives and you come out here and uh, you get the opposite. 